Hello Americans, another friend subscribers around the world. Back again. Day in between, as you can see now it's raining again. Man, it's rained, snowed, hailed, sun came out for a little bit. But uh just a normal spring day in Idaho, man. But today, um I've had quite a few people asking me what happened to Dick and Knack, my goats. And I've actually got them pinned up on the, the other side of the property right now. And so I'm out here, been coming out here off and on. Look at the, see the, there's the hail that's piled up. But, um, so in between rainstorms and hailstorms and all that, I've been coming out and pulling uh, fence panels and unwiring them and stuff and getting ready. And I'm actually going to move them over to another area where they're out here more in the open. Because they're kind of, kind of hid away right now and they're getting tired of it, I can tell. So I'm gonna work on this uh, on this right now, and as soon as I get a post, you know, a lot of people, man, when they go to pull the, which this is soft out here right now, but a lot of people when they go to pull the T post, if they don't use a polar, which I have one of those too, that's soft enough, and I'll show you for somebody that don't know just the way to so you don't bend it, and you know, and ruin your dang T post. I'm going to turn it off for now because it's pouring. Alright, so I'm going to show you. you know, a lot of people know this, all that, but uh, a lot of people don't because uh, a couple years ago, uh, old Red, uh, she does some crazy stuff sometimes. But anyway, I had him, hey, you know, anything I can help with or whatever. And we were pulling some posts for our fence that goes around our property. and. You know, I'm going to move them and do some stuff. And so, but yeah, man, while I'm gone, you can, uh, you know, pull all them T-posts out for me, man. You're talking about an old farm boy, you know, so you just assume. You know, I didn't even told him where the, because uh, like I said, I got a puller, you know, that I can use a high lift jack and pull these out. But it was soft. It was early in the spring like this. And I mean, right now, and even, man, I pull them like this. When it's, you know, you got to give it a lot more oomph, but you can do this even when the ground's hard, just not as easy as right now. But, uh, so I got back, and every one of my T-posts, man, well, I just hauled them up there. I was going to show you, because it was one of them, man. But every one of them, he just bent the crap out of them. All, what in the heck? And he's like, oh, yeah. I just couldn't get them out, you know. So, anyway, so you got your T-posts, man. I'll do a close, you know, this. So when you're going to go, uh, try to pull it, go back this way because this gives it the extra bracing so just kind of wiggle it back and forth like that you can see this is actually one's already got a bend in it and then I need to just kind of jiggle in a hole you know in a circle there like that and as long as you go back and forth like this you know you can go do this a little bit just don't give it enough to bend your dang t-post they're expensive and then you know just grab it then sometimes, like I said, right now, then this one's not even all the way down in. So, I mean, this is a pretty easy one. You know, and then just give it a little tug. And when the ground's hard, you have to give it maybe both hands and tug on it. Well, even this one's got hard. There. So there, you know, this one's already had a bend in it. But anyway, man, that's just a quick thing on, you know, like I said, there's a lot of people that never, never pulled a T-post. And they come out here and grab a hold of the, you know, the metal. Man, just start reaming on them. And do this one too. Start reaming on them and bend the, bend the heck out of your dang T-bust. So, here's how to do it without wasting your T-post. Because, you know, depending on what length and all that, man, you're talking, you know, anywhere five, ten bucks a piece. So, which, of course, I buy them on at auctions and yard sales and stuff, so I don't pay anywhere near that. But. So that's how. So we're going to pull some more wire and stuff like that, man. The sun actually, look at that little blue patch right there, man. I should be able to get all the wire and panels off before it pours or snows or hurricane. I don't know, something. <laughs> all right. Alright, so now, now the sun's out. Now the sun's out. And I gotta show you this, uh, 
Timothy, my son-in-law, last year when he bought his truck, he uh, this rack was on it, and first he was just gonna give it. He just wanted it off there, and uh, my father-in-law was gonna take it, and then. Uh, I was like, holy smokes, man, I'd have traded because he always liked my old, I had this old homemade one I've had on, I don't know, probably four or five trucks over the years. You know, the heavy duty one that was just a, you know, a roll, roll bar or headache rack. And I was like, dude, I'd have traded you that for that because, man, I can haul my lodge poles for building all that. So anyway, we did a swap, man, and pretty dang nice. Anyway, we're going to load some. Kitty's still, she's done it. She's in there working at finishing up the last bit of the... Taxes, that's what uh, working for yourself would be for us, and they don't want you doing that. We uh, have to know how our kids, it's the first year that uh, all our kids are raised, no dependents. I used a rack. It's actually not even uh, pulled it down yet. But look at that, man. I can put a uh, 10 foot panel, 10 or 12 foot panel on there. I can actually uh, put one of them on. I got a stock trailer, my, yeah, my stock trailer, so I wouldn't have to do it. But uh, I can actually put one of them on, put a couple down this way, and haul hogs in here. For my goats. For my goats. <laughs> Alright, so we're. Now once I get all this out of there, I'm going to pull a lot more of that brush and stuff out of there because that's what I've been working on for, well, for ever since I bought the property is getting it. I want it where I got a nice trail, you know, kind of, you know, pretty much overgrown there for 
with animals and stuff like that, but just to where I can walk along the creek. Because, I mean, before it was so thick and nasty, I mean, not even the animals other than the clothes. Check out, see this is some of what I did last year. There's so much dead stuff, man. This thing will just flourish, get some of that out of there. Yeah, I'll get it where it's flowing. There's some dogwood down there. Alright. I'm going to work with some more of these panels. And when I get, uh, get them pulled down there, I will show the goats. They'll be happy. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, this is just a temporary, uh, uh -oh. cover mostly for sunshade and everything last year. And the one thing about goats is, uh, I got a pallet in there, clean that out. But the one thing about goats, you definitely you want to be able to get up out of the, you know, the wetness. This is the area that we tried to do the little permaculture experiment thing last year it got a little bit but the year before when we did it up close to the cabin we had way more you know result may try it again later because we ended up we did end up devoting a lot of that dang time last year to the uh, flop, uh, flop meats the swap meats in the flea market markets and we can do that again we're gonna do a few but um, not too many, really. So I may end up planting some more stuff out here. The uh, our prune tree over there, the goats got two. Even with this, man, I put this big cage and stuff around it. Put this around it, man, and the goats still figured out a way to get to it. I pulled a lot of this, but um, yeah, I had a fawn twice get in here and end up directing her out but I could have caught her she's wrapped up in the fence and stuff just it's just one thing after another and then uh but anyway that the prune tree which we ended up buying another one last week um the water or the roots and stuff can't take as much water in the ground because you get the root rot which is what has happened to that one and as much water in this here, I mean, this is how much water is on, in this, you know, it's a muddy mess on top. But look at that. I mean, it's still swampy. You know, that water level. And where we're standing right here is basically at the same level as the creek. You know, so I mean, this is just, you know, I, mean, I, could, I could do rice, <laughs> rice field out here or something, man. Anyway, so right now I'm going to go to the, so we're going to fence off and see where the post hole driver is. So I'm gonna plant some posts here. I'm gonna make a you know about like this out here about where the doghouse is and out this way and and then what I do during the uh, season as the grass grows is I'll move them around the sections in here and keep this mowed down and then doing a smaller pin here just when I need to lock them up when they're getting into trouble, but I'll take the other panels I have and just like I did last year, and I just move them around, man. And that way they keep a lot of the, a lot of the weeds and the. Cause we have a lot of, we probably have just about everything that we've been working on for three years now, four years. Is we have probably every noxious weed in Idaho. We probably have on this property. It's it's been a chore since day one. So anyway, I'm gonna get that that thing all put together, and we got a few things to list, and then we're gonna go take a. Uh, oh, and that's what the other thing I didn't. I forgot to take the camera yesterday, but up our one route, or probably our all-time favorite area. It's actually where the picture at the top of the heading where I'm standing out in that um, valley with the trees behind me, up at the top of this page, and. Um, that's where me and Kevin and me and Miss Kitty, where the snow was covering the whole road and stuff, we actually got all the way, well, not all the way up and over, but all the way up in there, and then it won't be long, we'll be able to go up and over. So, we're really excited about that. Ended up getting up in there and finding a whole truckload of 
split tamarack up in there too, so that was awesome. So anyway, so I'm gonna get this done and go ahead and list a few things so that we can go back up the mountain. Alright boys. Do my, do my better house, maybe. Like I said, this is uh, this is be where they get when they get in trouble. They'll be. We'll be moving them all around the, all around the property. <laughs> this is where they can be out in the open. I can see them. They look so lonely. About ready to go up the mountain this week? Just about. It's, it's about to storm. We I know. Go for going. That's I know, that's why I said it with that tone. Let's go for going. Alright.